welcome back. My name is Jen Claridge. I'm the Vice President of the ERP Practice here at Saver. And in this video, I'm going to go into the analysis mode, which you can leverage from the list pages to really drill into the data that you need, do some pivot charts, and just get to what you need. So here I am inside of Business Central, and I really love using this functionality in my ledger entries as an example, because I tend to have a lot of information especially if I've got a lot of items or a lot of customers or a lot of vendors. So you can use this functionality in really any list page that you see, but for the purposes of today, I am going to open up my item ledger entries because again, I'm used to manufacturers who have a lot of different part IDs. And again, if you've been using Business Central for a long period of time, you may find that you've got a lot, a lot of entries. So. The list page is great. I mean, you have the ability to do filtering. So if you wanted to drill into just transactions that were done you know, current month, current year, if you wanted to drill on just shipments or just receipts, this has been really, really great. You can export this to Excel and then you can add subtotals. You can do pivot charts. You can do more analysis on it. But with the analysis mode, which is found up here, you have that ability to be able to do a little bit deeper analysis and grouping directly within Business Central. So when I'm in the analysis mode, I still have the ability to leverage my filters. So if I wanted to say, look at data that was just relevant for the current year, I could do, you know, one, one, dot, dot today. And now I've drilled down and I'm looking at only transactions that have been done in this current year. So that functionality doesn't go away. But here, maybe I look at these items, and I don't have a ton of items in this demo database, but you can imagine how much this could grow. But let's say, as an example, I look at this and I think, well, I really also want to see my location code. So it was very easy for me to just add or remove columns. I did that in the opposite order, but remove or add columns very easily with just enabling or disabling this checkbox here. You can scroll down, you can look at dimensions. If you've got custom fields that have been added to the table, you'd be able to leverage those as well. And if I look at this, and especially let's envision I have a lot of data, maybe I wanna group this by item. So I can just take my item number and I've dragged it down into my row groups. And now I can see that this is grouped by item. So I can see here for this first item, I did a transfer on the 20th of June. I did a purchase receipt. I could then group by my document type if I wanted. So I can keep adding extra filters. So now if I open up, I can see I've got a purchase receipt. I've got a subtotal. So these are things that you can't do or you couldn't do in the list pages previously. The grouping, the subtotal capability that we're used to seeing when you have a physical report. You can also take your data and enable the pivot mode, which allows you to, again, just kind of view things slightly differently. So here I can see my sum over this way, and if I turn it off, I can see a little bit more detail. And I can open that up. So you can show or hide information depending on, like I said, the questions that you have and the answers that you're trying to find. Down here under values, let's say cost information for whatever you're looking at isn't relevant. Maybe you don't even need sales amount for this view. The same way that I was able to add groups or show or hide columns, I can do the same thing here with values. And then later down the line, if I realize that I actually do need some information, I can go ahead and just drag it back and add the information back. So again, this functionality is in customers, vendors, items, ledger entries, all of the list pages, all you need to do is find the icon like this. And then here you also have the ability to rename this to something more meaningful for you. You can duplicate it. 
you can copy the link, you can arrange, you know, if you've got multiple analysis that have been done, you can move them left or right. So there's really just a lot of capability to drill in and get the answers you need. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Click here to follow our channel and click here for more great videos.